Hello, my loves. I'm about to watch season four, episode four of Orphan Black. Let's get into it. Boop! Look, Nikki, another puzzle piece. See, Nikki, we're getting closer. Nikki. Never forget. Oh, is that Nikki? Is that another clone? I thought that picture was Rachel for some reason at first, but that would not make sense. <laughs> this is how you treat someone who saved your skin. We've no intention of trusting you with the location of our safe house. <sighs> Kendall not joining us, no? Kira? As long as you are here, they will be safely somewhere else. Good, good. You said you could help me get this bot out of my face. Well, not me personally. And what is it you want? To rescue Rachel. What can I say? She pierced this armored heart. The message you got from Rachel, I assume you can't trace it. No, but you have a source who could. Do we? Someone tipped you the Neos were in Iceland. Someone deep are able to get deep. Am I right? Share your source, and we'll both have what we need. Who is he talking about? In Iceland? Is he talking about MK? He never gave me a raise. They did so good on this Not head. Once. I mean... This is science now, bitch. He never gave me a raise. Not once. So the tumor's living, but the surrounding tissue's necrotic. It was feeding off him. Buried down there in the cold dirt under the Hendrix garage. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I couldn't tell what I was looking at the first time when I saw that. Right there. I'll biopsy the tumor <gasps> in the cell assay. Okay. Let me open it up. Oh my god. <laughs> Props to them for that damn head. Rachel's a foodie too. And only a fluffy frittata will she abide. And here was I thinking psychopaths incapable of genuine human connection. <laughs> Rachel's message. Its origins masked by redirection through a series of proxy servers. And why do you think my contact can help with that? Let me convince them. Felix is here. See? Why? Family meeting, love. I'll reach out to my source, but you don't get access. My name is Mud, the Glendale community. No, no, not true. You don't need them. We've always talked about doing our own musical review. Oh, Allison, I would love to. <laughs> Jesus Christ, superstar. Do you think you're what they say Shh. you are? Don't you get me wrong? Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hot yoga, 10 minutes. No. Bye. Did you get me wrong? Did you get me wrong? <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, Sarah Stubbs. You don't recognize me? No, because it's the wrong it's person. It's Trina, Beth. That's not Beth, Trina. You went back to Club New Lucian. You went to Life Spring Fertility? I, I, di I didn't. I didn't know. I told you I was a carrier in confidence. Why couldn't you just let it go? What? Um, do you, do you want to grab a coffee? Cops. You think you can just fix everything with a cup of coffee? Stay away from me. Um, Trina, you approached her. If you had told me that you had some kind of a neolutionist implant in your face. Okay, now the air has been cleared. Sarah needs us. See, you weren't exactly around for her to tell you. I don't blame him, I'm just saying. Fine. Hope you find what you're looking for. Such an immature thing to say, Sarah. <laughs> right now, I have something else. Who's that? She just accosted me at Aroma Cafe. She thought I was Beth. She was upset. She said that Beth apparently investigated some IVF clinic she went to. Life Spring Fertility. Right, and what's that got to do with the bot implant? She said she was a carrier, so maybe she has one of those things in her. Wait, she went to a fertility place involved with the Neos? Is there any chance that she was pregnant with a clone? Or am I, like, 
going in a wild direction. Alison, I'll help. I'll help you. I'll, I'll go with you. Thank you. Thanks, Fee. Yay, Fee and Allison again. Hey. <clears throat> Oh, well, would you look at that? It's a collage of babies. Yes, very cuddling. Very cuddling. Do you think we could maybe, um... I'm making mess again. No, it's it's not that. It's Allison. Oh, he's gonna have a talk with her about Allison being jealous. You probably didn't know this, but before we adopted Oscar and Gemma, Allison and I tried to have our own kids. Oh, he's being a good husband. It was the most difficult time of my life. Oh, I didn't even think about him. It but was it hard was, on him too. It was harder for Allison. Yeah. She is jealous and angry. No, not <laughs> angry. Me having babies and bringing the No, 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 not angry, no, Helena. I, well, the police, yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit about that. Just to tiptoe, try not to set her off. You'll get used to it. I feel like he could have explained that better. I think that was really sweet of him for wanting to explain to Helena what's going on, both so that she understands that Allison isn't mad at her and also so that maybe she can be a little bit more sensitive about it. But I don't think he explained it very well to her. I told her about that implant in your jaw, yeah. That's what this is about, isn't it? She's inside. She's here? She said just you. Don't steal anything. MK? Hello? Here, sir. <laughs> you have three minutes. <laughs> I need to know what these implants do. You knew Beth was investigating them. Yes, if she knew, she didn't tell me. Well, I need help to get them out. You know Susan Duncan, yeah? Yes, of course. She was one of our creators. Died September 1st, 1991, Lapfire. Except she's still alive. She'll know how to get this implant out. <sighs> this is a message from Rachel. Apparently, Susan's got her captive. I need you to trace it, find out where they are. Rachel contacted you? No, someone we trust. Who? That's my business, all right? <sighs> I need this thing out of my face. I'm going straight to the top. Show me the specifics. Put it in the, the USB port. If I show you this, I want to meet in person. I'll put you in danger. We're all in danger, MK. I'll trace it and meet you in an hour at Beth's. Fitting. OK, so. MK was the source in Iceland that they were referring to. Got it. I thought so. I just, for some reason, I felt like I might be wrong. I don't know. That is Life Spring Fertility. And this is everything I've learned about the place. Personnel profiles, services, floor plans. Great job, hon. Clear, concise, color coordinated. Thank you. So let me sort this. We're going to pose as prospective parents to determine if this is a knee illusionist front. I've already booked your appointment. And these are your IDs. Oh, Donnie and Fee are? This is good. Did you use the new laminator? Mm-hmm. The new laminator. <laughs> Wait, where's yours? Beth's already been in there. I can't go in. Oh, that okay, makes sense. Uh, Duh. The couple? Donnie, catch up! Oh. Stop. Hi, Hi, Douglas and Julian for Dr. Lang. Great. IDs, please? Yes, of course. Right here. Thank you. It's a terrible picture. Just a moment. Thank you. What the hell are you doing? I'm playing the part, darling. No, darling, you're mincing. I don't know what that means. Donnie, do you have any gay friends? No. Yes, you do. Science commonly holds the belief that 5 to 10% of your male friends are gay. <laughs> Not in Bailey Downs. Especially in Bailey Downs. The point is, you can't tell, so don't act gay. Okay. I mean, mostly fair, but sometimes you can tell. I guess we'll just test you both. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Great. It's a lot of sperm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. Bad puppy. My favorite. Here's your sample cup. 
right for the um, sperm. Thanks, Jill. Donnie is either going to struggle, he's going to have to think about Allison, or he's going to find out something new about himself today. <laughs> we discussed adoption with them. I know, honey, but she's five or six months along. Easy. You let me deal with Portia. Is there anything else you need? I'm in this little room all by myself, and I need to, you know. He needs your help. I could use a little air Italia to help me along. Donnie, I'm in a public place. I know, but you asked me what I need, and um, that's what I need. What does air Italia mean? Sir, you have to put on your set belt. See, I know, man, but um, well, I'm having trouble doing up the buckle. Take a look. Oh, it's a grande, molto duro. Very duro. <laughs> Is that your leaning tower? It's not leaning anymore. Well, I got two spicy meatballs for you, baby. So spicy. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Donnie! Goal! I guess I'm gonna learn something new about Donnie today. No school accident. It's got a synthetic core. I'm not even sure we could say it's alive. God, the question is what does it do and why did Leaky have one? A little less creepy now that it's not in the cheek, but... Is she the youngest subject to develop symptoms? She is. She doesn't know, does she? No. And has Susan considered immunosuppressive therapy for her? That treatment induced rapid onset in Jennifer Fitzsimmons. It was torture. Yes, but Charlotte is prepubescent. Her hormone levels are lower. And her autoimmune response might be easy to, to control. I'll bring it up with Susan. Look, Nikki. Susan Duncan, guardian of Rachel, a ghost all these years like me. Where are you hiding? Bing, bing, bing. Rachel's hidden deep. Was she reaching out there? family of my own someday. I've squirreled a little away. Enough to recover by the seaside in style. Just Rachel and I. Bide our time before a slow, steady climb back to power. Interesting definition of family. Yeah. MK? I'm here. Meet me in person. He's top site. What? Rich's contact. He did their wet work, their cleaning. Is he your source? Yeah, I made a decision. Sometimes you have to work with people you don't like. No, we don't. No, we don't. Look, Mika, I will do anything. I'll deal with anyone to get this implant out of my face. Did you find Susan Duncan? We're finished. I can't trust you now. Uh, I kind of get where MK is coming from, though. Like, from her perspective, how is she going to trust that Sarah knows what she's doing? You know what I mean? Or trust that she's not making a big mistake. What's wrong? Oh. Oh, sweetie. Can we talk? So we wanted to try one more time, but the doctor just told me no go. Oh, Allie, I'm so sorry. Did you try something special? Did you do some, I don't know, new technology or? I mean, I'd do anything. I would, I'd pay anything. Allie, 
Oscar and Gemma are such amazing kids. Oh, yes, and I, I love them so much. I really do. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I'm getting older, and, and everybody's pregnant, and... I just want to have my own baby. Allie. You know what? Maybe you should go back in there. See Dr. Bosch. Ask for the Brightborn treatments. Okay? You're okay. Thank you. Brightborn treatments. Ugh. Hurts my heart. I feel so bad for people who struggle with fertility. Do you have an egg donor in mind? Not yes. Yet. We are still narrowing it down. Yeah. You know, we should tell you too that we are thrilled to be working with you. And we're both very open to any kind of emerging technologies. We were told to ask for you specifically. Oh? And to ask about the Brightborn treatments. How'd you hear about Brightborn? From a very satisfied customer. Jill. Could you bring in some Brightborn packages? Hi. Hey. MK didn't show. If MK shut you down, I'm sure she had good cause. I'm out of options, Dizzy. I need you to help me find her. You keep banging on my door asking for favors. You ever think about what I might want? Right, what? I need to know exactly what's going on between you and this twin of yours. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Why? I have my reasons. You don't know this guy. He doesn't owe you anything, and you're asking for a favor. He has leverage over you. <laughs> cloned. We're cloned. Jesus. If MK knew this guy all along and hadn't told him, maybe she didn't want him to know? I kind of feel bad that Sarah is just, like, messing everything up that MK has worked so hard to do. <laughs> I've met with MK three times in person. And each time she had different plates on her car. What's that about? Exactly. Ran those plates and... Wouldn't you know it, but they're all defunct. What's that tell you? She's got access to scrap cars. Three scrap yards in the city. That one's closest to Beth. Who's Beth? Save that for later. Listen, you're gonna want me to come with you. Given the right circumstances, I think she could be dangerous. MK? Sarah is just trusting this random ass guy over MK just because MK is being more careful than she wants to be? Forgive me. I did not know to feed you liquid nitrogens. Your twins are in my belly. When they are old, I will tell them all about you and our adventures. <laughs> Goodbye, family Hendrik. No, I didn't notice that bag there. No, no, no. Donnie, what did you do? Oh, he had good intentions and he just did he didn't. Oh god. You're gonna show me Helena leaving and then cut to this? I don't care right now. Go back to Helena. Mika! Screw this. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Look at this. See the map? It's a pressure plate bomb. You step on that, the whole place goes up. Make you wonder what she's hiding. I still feel so wrong about Sarah teaming up with this guy against MK. I don't know. This just feels so wrong.
The pigman is coming along. In a few weeks, the tech will be invisible. How are you feeling, Charlotte? Why do you keep asking that? Another message. Will you please go play in your room, Charlotte? Maybe someday I'll be allowed to visit you there. Or is it nicer? She's really sweet. There is one other option for Charlotte. Do you know what it is? She's the youngest subject of all ill. Untreated, a data set could be of value to the rest of us, including Ira. And what would you do? Let the disease advance or intervene? Is this a test? It's a decision. One of many we'd have to make every day. That's rough. MK. MK was part of like a ID tag or something? He said she was tracking someone named Susan Duncan. Yeah. Looks like most recently MK was tracking you. What? Texts, calls. Locations. What are you doing, MK? I don't know how to feel. Sarah. She wants you to meet her at bed. She's found something. Kind of annoying, Scotty. Uh, I think you're gonna want to see this. Scotty would never be annoying without a reason, Kasima. Just check this out. Have a little faith in him. Oh, Woo! Bioluminescence. Green fluorescent proteins. They must be using them as markers to track gene expression. So the bot's introducing foreign DNA. I bet that's why Leaky had one. It's some kind of gene therapy delivery system. Could be changing Sarah's DNA. Okay. Sarah? Over here. Sarah's. How apropos Sarah's deep throat is a sheet. Uh, I have information about Susan Duncan and Rachel. That is excellent news. Now, let's take off the mask, shall we? I would not stand up if I were you. MK. What if this is? It's not necessary. Oh, yes, it is. Hello, Ferdinand. She looks angry, like in a personal way. And she's lighting a candle, which she had lit. He has to have something to do with Nikki. Ferdinand Chevalier. Bastard son of the 10th Earl of Sussex. A stigma you still can't get over. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but top marks for presentation. He discovered your bloodlust in the British SAS. Learned to kill quickly and quietly. Perfect recruit for a top site cleaner. <sighs> if she found anything on Susan Duncan, she scrubbed it already. Try a knee illusion or. Rachel Duncan? Yes, ma'am. Why is this guy helping Sarah in the first place? Just out of his own curiosity? Is that where MK is from? Does this ring a bell? That's a Scandinavian accent, isn't it? Finland, maybe? I always suspected one clone escaped the purge. Oh! 
that's the one that was the only one that survived Helsinki, so Nikki must have been part of Helsinki. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Nikki, she was my only friend. This was a week before she was killed. Just met her boyfriend, Alex. Just began her life. You cast her family. You burned her alive. Jesus, I know what she's doing. Beth, I need to talk to Ferdinand. He's with you, isn't he, Beth? What? Oh, God. That text wasn't from you. Mrs. S is quick. That's why we love her. I'll come with. Who are you, sir? Why is he part of this now? I must be out of my mind. You are! What is- <laughs> It's like he's just helping because the writers wrote him to help. I don't know. I'm just a little confused. Not a great time, Kasima. Okay, but I think we figured out what the bots do. Let me guess it's bad news. He just let her take his car. This is your revenge fantasy. You've been playing it in your head for years. You killed six of my sisters. You murdered 32 of our friends and loved ones. What's stopping me from standing up and killing one more? Try it! Cowardice? Narcissism? Weakness? Rachel, she was hidden deep. You found her? I found you first. I always dreamed of putting a name to your face, hurting you like you hurt me. What are you doing, Vera? Vera! That's not my name anymore. Ah! 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 Shit! Sarah! Throw some sense into her, please! What are you doing, Mika? I think you know. And there's a bomb under my chair. You can't do this. I need him. He needs to pay for what he did to Nikki. I know, all right? I know about Helsinki. I want revenge too, but we're not going to do it like this. For me, it is this. Mika, hey, look. Look, 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 the guy is garbage. I know, I know, but he saved my life. Oh, it's true. So that makes up for everything he did. I mean, I'm, I'm not necessarily, like, siding with MK doing this, but I just think it's so obnoxious that the evil shit that he has done just suddenly doesn't matter because Sarah needs him. Again, it's not that I disagree, it's just... <sighs> Corn cob. Two words. Enter it. I will find you. I will finish Helsinki. What, you're just gonna leave now? Yes. If you were smart, you would leave too. She's not smart. You pulled me out of Iceland, you threw me in the middle of this shit, now you're just gonna blow it all up? Get out of here, Sarah. No, your friend Nikki died. Beth died. What about our sisters that are still alive? Oh, I'm sorry. I was a little hard. I was just mostly kidding when I said she's not smart, by the way. Sarah's smart. It's just she does... She doesn't always play it smart, but sometimes that's necessary. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not shitting. I was just... I'm not meaning to shit on her. I was mostly just kidding. Then and only then are you going to stand up. Am I clear? I love it when Mrs. S is bossy. <laughs> Let me prepare myself. Why? Fuck you. I'm sure this whole thing is going to be fine. It's... When I get out of here, I'm going to be a little short of funds. You're a clever chap. I'm sure you'll find some way to make yourself useful. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> My opinion on Charlotte's treatment couldn't wait till morning. Well, 
Immunosuppressive therapy likely won't save her. Untreated, her data has value. More value than her life. We shouldn't intervene. That's what you wanted to hear, isn't it? I need to go away again. Why? We know you contacted Ferdinand. Oh. It took me a second to realize what that note was. Shit. You're right to think of the future. This stuff from Dr. Bosch better be worth it. Let's see what creepy Brightborn is all about. Are you having difficulty conceiving? Are you in a non-traditional relationship? Oh, seeking this... to have a child what on your terms? Name? Perhaps you have genetic factors. He has told factors. me, but I forgot. Totally Whatever the reason for. you're seeking fertility. I think she was on Oprah. She was in Working Moms. I'm Evie Cho, CEO and founder of the Brightborn Group. We can help provide you and your family with the best chance at a fast conception, a smooth pregnancy, and a healthy and thriving newborn. But why stop there? You want mainstream the reproductive child. technology. And so do we. It's like a whole new side to Neelish. All of our children are born stronger and healthier. At Brightborn Technologies, we're making the world a better place. One baby at a time. What? I think I'm too dumb to understand what that means for us. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait and see next episode, I guess, what that means. But okay, for now, let's discuss the episode. A lot actually threw me off in this episode. Not necessarily in a bad way. I'm not meaning to complain. I'm just, I'm, I'm very up in the air right now with a lot of things. Like the guy that was working with MK, I don't know. Him. Oh, Dizzy. I do know his name. Oh, 10 points to me. Anyways, Dizzy it just has me very confused. I don't know if I'm just reading the situation wrong or what, but it just felt very strange to me the way that he just started helping Sarah. The only thing I can think of is that he's just curious. You know, MK kind of was using him for something and he knew enough about this situation to get really intrigued. And now Sarah's offering him more insight into the mystery and he's just kind of curious and, and hooked on the mystery or something. I don't know. But even then, like, the level of commitment to this mission that he's showing, I, something, just something felt off. And again, I'm not meaning to complain. I'm just saying that something felt confusing to me. I don't know. Maybe I just need more time with this character. But yeah, I just, I don't know how to feel about that. I also don't know how to feel about Sarah and MK. Or maybe I should say I just have mixed feelings about Sarah and MK. Because it's like, on the one hand, to my understanding, MK has been so careful this whole time and she has all of this information and she's been working all these sources and she's put so much time and effort into this mission of hers, you know, and Sarah gets involved and Sarah is just so opposite. She's just so not careful, so action oriented, so take the risk and deal with the consequences later, you know. And I don't necessarily think one is better than the other. I think long term, I'm hoping they align goals and start helping each other. Because I think if they balanced each other out a little bit, it would be perfect, right? Sarah could use, I don't know, she, she could use a little bit of what MK's got, you know what I mean? But MK could also maybe use a little bit of what Sarah's got. Because to a certain extent, sometimes being that careful... And just hiding, you know, how much has she really gotten accomplished? And so I think the blending of them would be perfect. They would be great teammates and they need each other. And I think they could really stand to balance each other out a bit, you know? But until that happens, or hopefully that happens and until it does, them kind of messing things up for each other is just 
frustrating and hard to watch and I'm not really sure how to feel about it again because like it's not necessarily that I'm on one side or the other it's just like you guys are messing up each other's shit because you're not working together you know like get on the same page and work together so that you're not work messing up each other's shit that's all that's all and I just really like MK already even though again it would be fun to see Sarah kind of rub off on her in some ways and all that, but I like her character, so it just felt really shitty to watch Sarah, like, break in and just go through all of her shit. I mean, Sarah took four seasons to go through Beth's stuff. Four seasons, even though that stuff could have helped her too, but she cared so much about Beth's privacy, even though Beth is dead. R.I.P. Beth. But MK is a living person who deserves privacy and respect, and she would had no problem breaking into her house and going through her shit to get information she needed, you know? I don't know. Again, I'm not, I'm not necessarily against Sarah for doing that, right? I'm just, I'm just pointing out some double standards, just pointing out some things, you know? I don't know. I don't even know. So you probably don't know. But there was just lots of mixed feelings to be had for whatever reason in this episode when it came to the dynamic between MK and Sarah. It's been interesting to see some softer sides of Rachel, even though the conclusions aren't necessarily different. Like with the whole Charlotte thing, Rachel's put in the position of having to choose between basically having. It's basically a test. Rachel, are you a scientist or are you this girl's mother? Because you can't be both. And it's interesting seeing a certain amount of softness in her, seeing that there is that motherly side of her in there somewhere, but just enough to make her more complex, you know, because she still has that scientist logic at the end of the day, you know, that and or she wanted to tell Duncan what she thought she wanted to hear or something. But yeah, the the whole situation with Rachel and Charlotte and her having to make that decision was a very interesting insight into Rachel's character. It was super fun seeing Fee and Allison again together, even though it was really just in the car. Then it was Fee and Donnie, but I love Fee and Donnie too. Either way, it was fun seeing Fee try, or seeing Fee help again. Sarah really needs to get over herself, because you all know that I have feelings about the way that Fee went about stuff in the last couple episodes, but at the end of the day, Sarah really should be supporting him, and her little immature-ass comments are just immature, you know? She needs to she needs to grow up a bit. She needs to chill on the fee thing. I'm trying to think of the exact line she said. She said like, "I hope you find what you're looking for" or something like. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. what a teenage girl thing to say. Grow up. But I mean, that's kind of the point. I mean, they're just such siblings and that's kind of that tends to happen, you know? Even when you're an adult, sometimes when you are relating to your sibling, especially when it's kind of in an emotionally triggering way, you do often revert to, like, very teenage, childish, like, tendencies in the way that you relate to each other sometimes when you're triggered like that. So it it makes sense that she's acting like that. I'm just saying, I hope that she is able to get to a place quickly where she realizes that it truly is not about her and she shouldn't be making it about her. And I think that she has every right to be a little bit put off with the way that he's handled it, like I've said, but I don't think that justifies the her pettiness. I don't know. I think the best part of this episode for sure was the whole Helsinki part, finding out that MK is actually Vera, I think was the name, and that Nikki was part of it, and that's why her hair is always... I mean, I never really noticed that it was that much in her face, but I guess it, it was kind of always covering her cheeks, so that was a cool reveal gives us a lot of insight into MK's state of mind and why she's so scared. And yeah, it was just a really interesting reveal. Oh, and then Kasima and our guy Scotty ended up finding out that the, the worm thingy is a synthetic thing. Like, it's not real. And it's um fertility 
Oh, I can't remember the phrase that she used. It has something to do with fertility and the neo-illusionists. And I am too dumb to get yet what that is going to mean. But I feel like a lot happened in this episode that I just need to like, I think I need to see the next episode to really be able to decide how I feel about some of the stuff in this one. I don't know. This episode just left me in a very unsure place. Very anxious to keep going with this season and keep figuring this stuff out. Oh! And Helena was leaving! Oh my god, how did I almost forget about that? Helena was leaving, you guys! And then they just cut away and they never went back? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. Helena can't leave. I'm so nervous to find out where she's going and what this means. And I'm just so nervous. I don't like goodbyes, guys. I, where is she going? Isn't she still dating Jesse? I mean, I know we haven't seen him, but I feel like they keep throwing in lines to let us know that she's seeing him or something. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm nervous. Where, where is she going? Uh, okay. Well, I think now that's, that's it for this episode. I'm going to be stressing out about that all week now. Fuck. Anyways, meet me in those comments. Let's chat. Just another reminder that my full-length reactions are available on Patreon. The link is in the description box below. If you have not subscribed yet, now is a perfect time to go do that. And while you're down there, if you could like this video, I'd be very grateful. And thank you all for watching. It truly is an honor to have you here. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.